This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen and welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in this particular video in Python series, we are quickly going to talk about how to handle the dropdown with select classes here, right? So all the select based uh, dropdown we are going to cover. So uh, I have this particular example. Let's see, there's a, a dropdown. You can see that number of employees you can select. You can select a specific industry over here. So this is a typical dropdown, right? So what I'm going to do, right click on it and you simply immediately inspect this particular dropdown. And if the tag, this is HTML tag, if the tag is select tag over here, right? This, then what you have to do, you have to use select class available in Selenium Python library. You have to use that. Okay. So this formula will work only and only when select HTML tag is here because this is the select based dropdown, right? HTML tag is equal to select over here. So for that purpose, what I'm going to do, let me create a new file over here. And uh, let's see, this is my, uh, I would say, drop down handle. Okay. And here I'm going to import a couple of things. So I'll just copy a couple of imports, uh, you know, from here. Let's see, I'll just, first of all, I need all these guys. Okay, just copy paste over here. Now, what I need, I need one more import that is for, okay, uh, a simple write selenium um, dot web driver dot support dot UI dot import, I mean dot UI and you have to select from select over here okay like this and after that i'll be writing my you know a typical code for uh, driver manager and all those things so i simple copy paste uh, this guy let's see uh, copy this from here to here okay let's take import time also okay but which application i'm going to run i'm going to execute this particular application so let's okay and implicitly wait of 10 seconds i have given so that's already seen we have a couple of times now what we have to do that uh, first you have to uh, check okay this is a select drop down and i'm going to create a web element on the basis of id so i'm quickly going to create a web element of this particular select uh, drop down and let's say this is the industry drop down so i'm giving that okay indus or i would say let's see element element underscore indus is equal to uh, driver dot find element by dot id and id is this so web element got created after that what you have to do is that you have to use this capital select that you have already imported and this will okay here you have to pass your element so which element see this guy is saying it okay give me the element so we will pass element in this over there and then i'm going to store let's see and a particular reference like this whatever the reference name you want to take it okay you can take it like this and once you create that after that you will get number of methods over here select uh, dot see select by visible text select by visible i mean select by value and select by index so let's talk about first select by visible text which means whatever the text is available see here this is the text now in this particular select we have number of option tags are available can you see that number of child option tags are available it means you can select the respective value so let's say i'm going to select select education from here it means from the industry select education so this is the education i just copy this and then simple paste it over here it means select education now let's run it and let's see it is working or not okay so launching the browser so you can see that okay yes education got selected over here perfect simple now similarly we have other methods as well and then uh, <clears throat> okay so let's see after education i don't want to use let's see uh, visible text so there is one more method we have uh, select dot select by index it means you pass the respective index so let's say hey select the a fourth value from the drop down so the fourth value will be selected so let's see let's run it and let's see So it will launch the browser and then whatever the fourth value it will select see this is the fourth value right so it will take one two three four five it means fifth means it will start from zero one two three four the fourth value will be selected over here perfect okay so this is by visible index we have one more method that is called select dot select by value 
it means if any value attribute value is there see every option is having one value value is equal to this arrow space and then the this is actual value this is a visible text so if you really want to use select by visible text so you have to use the respective option value over here but if you really want to use select select by value so you have to pick the value attribute value over here so let's see i want to select select automotive so now i'll be selecting automotive or let's see um see if you really want to select let's see uh this is a select by visible text and this is select by value so i'm going to select health but actually it will select health care only so let me select because in the drop down the visible text is what this is health care right in the drop down it's health care but the value is health actually so you can directly write select by value health over here now let's run it and let's see so it should select the value as health and the visible text is health care you can see that simple like that you can simple three methods are very important you can do that now there are other methods also let's see select by there is one method that okay is multiple is multiple will tell you that okay this is multi select drop down or single select drop down single select means at a time i can select only one respective value see at a time i can select only one value either health care or government local or electronics either of them so it will tell you that okay this is multi select or not but it will not return true or false it will give you none if it is not multi select so let's say i'm going to print the value of is multiple and let's see what happens so now you run it and let's see so i'll check that okay yeah this particular drop down is multi select drop down or not so you see that okay it's showing you none this is none okay so it is not a multi select drop down so that also you can simple method you can use that similarly if you really want to use some deselection method also there deselect all by index by value and visible text just opposite of select by visible text that you can practice accordingly for for a respective website okay so i'm not going to use a deselect but you notice one thing let's say i want to handle another drop down let's see my second drop down is the country drop down where where i can select the respective country so what i'm going to do that okay i'm again going to create okay let's see id equal to this so again i'm going to create one more web element over here so let's see i'm going to create uh, let's see one more web element that is element underscore country is equal to uh, driver dot find element by dot id okay by dot id and this is the id i'm going to use and then again what i'm going to do again i'm writing select let's see this is is uh, this time this reference you can take it but if you take this particular reference you cannot perform action on industry drop down so let me write some different name let's see this is my uh, select country or let's say select con is equal to uh, select and then pass the element so element country i'm going to pass and then i'm going to write select con dot okay let's see select by visible text i'm going to select let's see uh, india let me check what is uh, yeah india is uh, there or not yeah india okay so i'm going to select india so let's see it is working or not so and then uh, let's see it's selecting education from the industry drop down or not so first it will select education and then india so let's see perfect you can see that education and india right so this is how we are handling two drop downs what if tomorrow you have 100 drop downs or 10 drop downs that could be a problem right because again and again you are not going to create the same select class object like that right and you are passing a different element you can do that but let's see tomorrow 10 drop downs are there or 20 drop downs are there on the same page it means you have to create multiple select variables like that select underscore industry select underscore con like that so that is not a right practice to do that for one or two drop down which is fine so what i'm going to do that okay i'm going to create a generic method out of it okay so how to create that so let's say i'm going to create after my driver initialization i'm going to create a method my own custom method so custom method okay you have to write a def keyword over here and then write the let's say i'm going to write the method name values and what exactly you want to pass i say that okay i'll give you the element and i'll give you the respective value then this is the method name i have created and then you select the value then i say that okay fine then you create one select common object is equal to whatever that you are using select and pass what pass the same element over here 
that element I'm going to pass it to you, right? And when you do that, you simply say that, okay, select dot, select by, let's say I'm using visible text. Which value you want to select? The value that you are passing to this guy. Simple. Now, what I'm going to do that, okay, let me comment it out. Okay, all these guys now. Fine, let me comment out uh, this also. I'm not going to use so many select classes object like that. I say, say okay, simple, I have created these two drop downs uh, elements, enders and country. I'm simply going to call this particular method. So let's call it select value. And then what will you pass? You have to pass the element. So let's say I'm going to pass industry and which value you want to select. So let's see from industry, I simply say that, okay, pass health over here or uh, education over here. Let's see, education industry. Then I'm going to call this particular method once again. And next time I'm going to pass element country. And this time I'm going to pass, let's see, India from here. Like that. So you don't need to write all these things. Guys. And you simply call a generic method and then simple call this guy again and again. So only once you are creating one select class reference. And then with this particular reference, you are just calling the respective method and passing the value. That's it. Okay. So let's see if it is uh, working or not. So let's run as this. So it should select the respective value from the drop down. Perfect. You can see that education and country got selected. Now you code a very simple two lines of code I have written over here for drop downs. Okay. Now this is the first thing. Second thing is that there is one more thing you can do that. Uh, let's say I want to print all the values from the drop down, right? Let's say I want to select it. Okay, hey, how many uh, industry options are available? I want to print all the values in the drop down. So how will you do that? So for doing this, so let's uh, do one thing. Once again, uh, I'm going to copy this guy. I'm going to create the select is equal to new select and element industry. And once again, you simply take that, okay, select dot, see one method is there, options. Okay, one option is there that is called select dot options is available. And this select dot option will give you what? It will give you the list. Okay, it will give you the complete list. Complete list of options are available. <clears throat> so let's see, I'll just store inside this particular list only in this underscore list. I'll write it like this, right? It means in this particular drop down, give me all the options which are available. So select is pointing to element in this element industry uh, web element and we are passing to the select class getting the select reference. You can give any reference name uh, dot options. It means give me all the options and you collect it over here. So what will happen? <coughs> what will happen? It will create an object like this. Okay, and all the drop down options will be stored over here in this particular object and which is referred by what? This is referred by index underscore list like this. So this is referred by index underscore list. And how will you capture all the values? To capture all the values, you have to create a for loop over here. So let me write a for loop. Let me erase this uh, drawing first. Now I'm going to write a for loop. And I say that, okay, for all the element in which list in this particular index list, what do you want to do? I want to print, let's see, print for all the element dot I simply say that okay, give me the text of each and every element. That's it. So let's run it and let's see. It is printing the element for each and every element. Okay. So you can see, see, it's printing all the values from the industry drop down. Awesome. Now, if I say that okay, hey, uh, I want to select the value, the specific value. So what will you do? I simply put one if condition that okay, hey, if element dot a uh, text is equal to equal to if it is equal to let's see uh, uh, let me check some other value from the industry let's see uh, from the industry if it is equal to let's see uh, automotive then you select automotive automotive how will you select simple same element dot method you will be using and when you select it what do you want you want to break the loop such as the
right so ultimately what matters here you need to get a list you need to get a collection and again you have to iterate this particular collection over the for loop using the for loop and then keep printing the value and once the specific text is equal to automotive and then you select it it means when it reaches over here with automotive you select it and simply click on it and break the loop because that is my target i have to select automotive after that i don't want to do anything so simple click on it and then break it okay break means don't need to proceed further with the for loop come out of the for loop so it will come over here come out of the for loop means it will just uh, come over here like that. okay now let's run it it is working or not so it should select automotive from the drop down see can you see that automotive from the drop down and after automotive it's not printing anything so this is absolutely working fine right guys so like that now can i do one thing that i don't want to use select there is an interview question that okay hey select the drop down without select class how to do that okay so for doing this let me comment it out let's do the same thing with without select so without select what exactly i'm going to do i'm going to use driver dot find any men's method by dot x path i'll be using and now see what kind of x path i'll be using over here i simply say that okay yeah this is a select uh, let's see country drop down this time or maybe let's me inspect this industry drop down once again so you right click on it and get the x path over here so let me uh, copy 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 x path control f paste it over here and i'll put an html tag and i'm assuming that okay you guys are already aware about x path how to create x path so this is the x path at the rate id equal to this and then i'll put one single forward slash to get all the direct child element of option tag so now you will get option tag from this particular parent select drop down so you just copy this option tag from this particular select parent tag and then total number of elements we are getting one of 21 it means i can use what driver dot find elements over here i can use it right guys so this is the x path i'll be using it and this guy driver dot find elements it will return it will return what <clears throat> it will give you a list again it will give you a collection over here right guys so let's see again i'm using the same thing indus underscore uh, list or indus this time we're using some different name let's see options is equal to this all right then i want to print that okay hey what is the length so i simply say length of uh indus indus options total number of it should give you 21 and then i'll start a for loop that okay for uh, let me write it like this for element in where in this particular indus options what do you want to do you want to print element dot text over here and then i'll put same condition over there okay element dot uh, text which is equal to equal to what now this now next time let's say i want to print uh, i want to select some different value so let's see i'll take this time uh, let's see travel i want to select so i simply say if it is equal to travel then what do you want then i simply say that okay if it is equal to travel okay let me remove this bracket we don't need that then if it is equal to that then you simply say that okay element dot simple what click over here and when you click on it you simply break the loop that's it as simple as that exactly same thing i have done it over here here i'm just passing travel instead of automated so ultimate target is what either you collect your list with the help of select options or you can create your own x path parent and child combination and then you can get it from here as well okay and after that the things will remain same so let's see are we getting 21 and then it should select travel from here Awesome. Selected travel from here. Absolutely working fine. And after travel, okay, we are coming out of the loop. That's it. It's really cool, right? So, guys, this is an interview question. People will ask you that, okay, hey, with select and without select, you should know the answer with both the things together. Okay, so you can directly iterate and then, okay, when you get the list, you can simply iterate. So, ultimate target is you have to collect the list over here. So, this is the collection same thing this is the collection for me right so like that with if else condi i mean with if condition you can write it or if you really want to select the direct value that we have already seen that select by visible text select the index select the value these are the direct methods are available like that. right now for these things also you can create your own generic method okay so that is you can do it so if you really want to do that you can simply do that as well
okay so okay let me show you how to create one generic method so let me i'm going to create one uh, definition let's see uh, select underscore value from a drop down let's see this is the kind of method created select value from drop down first of all i'll do one thing this entire code i'll just copy cut it from here and then i'll just single paste it over here <clears throat> and then this guy needs what this guy says that okay you give me first of all okay some option over here so i think to say that okay that is my uh i give some generic name drop down options list and then which value you want to select so i say that okay you select this particular value now this particular drop down option list i'll just comment it out and then i'll be using over here right guys drop down options list and which value you want to select so i remove this hard coded value if it is equal to equal to value then you click on it and then break the loop <clears throat> so i don't need this guy first of all remove this guy and let me just uh, copy this from here so this is a generic method that i have created now how will you call it if you really want to call this particular method how will you do that so now see let me just call this method now select value from drop down list and this guy says that okay give me the collection give me the list so that list we will create it over here like that so okay so let's see this is the index option that we have created and i'll be passing the same index option over here and which value you want to select so let's see i want to select uh, education right like that you want to call it again so after this let's see i want to select uh, next time i want to select travel like that okay so let's uh, run it and let's see it is working or not <coughs> so first it will select education and it will select travel see education travel and once again education it's coming because of this because of this thing okay so it's absolutely working fine so if you really want to comment it out you can comment it out and then you can try it again so first you will select education and then travel now this method will work for what this method will work for any kind of select drop down list now let's try for some other let's see for a country drop down so i quickly say that okay country is equal to this id form country so what i'm going to do i'm going to use uh, index options now i'm going to create one what so let me sorry i'm going to create country options okay country options is equal to what is the id form submit country okay i think yeah it is already there but let it be like let it like this it means you collect all the options over here and now let's call the method <coughs> the method name is <coughs> select value from the drop down and which country options you have to pass and which country you want to select i simply say that okay select it here this time perfect so finally what will happen it will select education then it will select travel okay and so let's see okay so perfect and uh, travel and uh, for country it is yeah see country india and it will keep printing india and once i mean keep till india and then after india it's just breaking the loop so like this you can create generic method see guys anyone can explain you that okay hey typical create inside in fact in java also create a main method and write all these uh, linear programming but in practically in real time world you have to create a generic methods like that and you have to use these methods again and again just like that we have created that just like select value we have used the select value over here we don't write it like this in real time world this is just for your practice point of view end of the day what you have to do end of the day you have to create a generic method like that okay so please prepare and then this method should work for any kind of drop down this method should work for any kind of select drop down okay i'm talking about select drop down like that okay so likewise you can create for get options also that is your assignment you guys can do it for select uh, options you can create a generic method so now you have three methods to select the value let's say this is not working 
you can use this one also if this is also not working you can pick the options method the way we have created like this select our options same thing you have to do it over here you have to create one more method you have to pass what you have to pass the element and then which value you want to select and then select dot options same for loop you have to write and break the loop okay so likewise you can do that so that's all for this particular video i hope you understood in the next video i'll tell you how to use non-select drop down like a jquery drop down or bootstrap drop down such kind of things i'll tell you okay but we have already covered in the last session i think uh, just like google search we did it in google search we are getting a list of element right when you type something over there number of suggestions are there exactly the same approach you have to use what a non-select drop downs over there okay so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this particular video please subscribe to the channel if you're liking selenium python cities there are a lot of lot of new videos are coming with respect to framework also we will cover in one end-to-end -end page object model in okay and pi test also i'm going to cover unit test also i'm going to cover uh, reporting structure also we are going to cover so that will be very interesting uh, topic coming soon so please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you will get a notification for the new videos all the time thank you so much guys